Welcome to Indus International Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious bread pudding using chocolate chunks and dried cherries. For this, you will need two large slices of white bread. You need two cups of warm milk, two eggs, one fourth cup of dried cherries which have been soaked in one tablespoon of cherry flavored brandy and you have half a cup of milk chocolate chunk. You will also need one teaspoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of baking powder as well as two tablespoons of butter. You need one fourth of a cup of sugar and in the pan that you are going to steam the pudding in, in this case I'm using an aluminium pan and added the one fourth cup of sugar uh, into the pan and I'm heating it on medium heat. So as you can see the sugar is been melting and you can just twirl the pan a little bit and let it continue to um, caramelize. I had the flame on medium heat and as you can see it's all brown and caramelly and it's you know still in liquid form so see when I turn the pan it's still moving so try and make a uniform coat like this and now that it's almost golden brown it's done and you don't want to burn it so put the heat off let it cool and sit for about two three minutes so that it gets hardened here I have also done the same thing with this ramekin so then that way I can show you how to bake this pudding also in an oven using this ramekin. And here I uh, added the two slices of bread. I just broke it into small pieces and then I'm going to add two cups of warm milk into it. So I'm going to add half a cup of sugar. So I'm going to take the two eggs and just beat them with a whisk. Add the beaten eggs. Okay, next I'm going to add the butter. So I have two tablespoons of melted butter. And again, just mix. Next I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. And one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now that the baking powder is mixed well, I'm going to add the cherries which have been uh, soaked in brandy. So just uh, make sure you add only the cherries and next I add the half a cup of chocolate chunks into it. So there again you have to make sure that the milk is not very warm at this point because otherwise your chocolate will already start to melt and you don't want that to happen. So before you add the chocolate pieces make sure that the milk is really at room temperature. Okay. So now all we need to do is either steam or bake the pudding. You have this pan where I showed you how to make the caramel before and so now the caramel has cooled off so you can touch and make sure. See it's not sticking so it's cooled and it's formed a layer. So I'm going to pour this mixture into the pan. I'm just leaving a little bit of this mixture to bake um, in the oven. I have a pot uh, filled to about one fourth with water which has been boiling and I have placed a stand in it and so I'm going to place this aluminium pan on the stand and then I'm just going to cover this and then set the heat to about medium heat and I would uh, let it cook for about 15 minutes. Steaming for 15 minutes now and it looks like it's done so you can test it by putting in a knife inserted and if it comes clean that means it is done. So the pudding is ready now. Okay so for baking in the oven I am using here the ramekin and here again I have coated the base of it with caramel um, and I'm just going to pour the pudding mixture onto it. I'm going to place this ramekin in a roasting pan which I have uh, placed in the oven already filled and it's filled with about one fourth with boiling water 
and I'm going to place this ramekin inside it and the oven is set at 350 degrees uh, okay so the pudding has been baking in the oven in the roasting pan for about 30 minutes now and we'll check to see if it's done or not again by inserting a knife to see if it comes clean and yes the pudding is done let the pudding cool for about 10 minutes and then carefully run a knife around the edges of the mold and slowly invert onto a plate. Mm -hmm.